Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be making a shortcut in ProjectWise to an external storage source. Um, so first we're going to need to make a shortcut uh, that we're going to be able to put inside ProjectWise. So ProjectWise treats shortcuts like any other document. So there's a couple things we need to think about when we're going to place this shortcut somewhere in ProjectWise. One, do we have access to be able to put a document at that location? So with our OHDOT folder structure, we're not going to be able to put it all the way up at that root work set folder or down uh, at the, the top level of these uh, numbered folders. But we're going to need to drill down a little bit and, and put uh, our shortcuts somewhere uh, a little bit deeper inside the folder structure. So in this case, I'm going to use the 999 scratch folder just as an example. So I have this, this folder here, uh, reports, that I, I want to make a link to, uh, and I'm going to put that in project-wise. So I'm going to uh, create a shortcut just by right-clicking, same Windows commands like usual, and we're going to grab this shortcut. Uh, so what I can do is click and drag this shortcut into project-wise and use no wizard to import this. So it's creating a document, uh, and that document has a uh, shortcut uh, command or um, extent file extension of .lnk or a link file. And that's going to be important because uh, there's an application association inside ProjectWise that allows uh, Windows Explorer to open a .lnk file. So all I have to do is double click on this file. It's gonna. It actually checks it out because it thinks it's a document, and it's gonna take me to that reports folder um, that I have that uh, that document in. So that's making a shortcut inside ProjectWise.